Now let's turn our attention to double integrals over general regions. So here are two types that we're going to discuss. And let's start off with the first one, this one right here. We're going to call this particular region type one region. So suppose you are integrating a surface over this region. So you have a surface, a function of two variables, and we want to integrate over this particular region, which is bounded by two curves right here. So one is top, one is on the bottom. And also along the x-axis, we have this vertical line. So this is our region R that we're going to integrate over. The way we're going to do this is by setting up a double integral. So hopefully you know the idea of a single integral. Now this extends to double integral. So if you have a region that looks like this, where it's bounded by a top curve and a bottom curve. So I want you to think of putting a vertical line right here, right through the region, so that way you get your top and a bottom. So this will be a top curve, which is y equal g of x, and here you have a bottom curve. If you have this set up, then the double integral that we're going to set up for this surface f of x, y, dA, we need to figure out what will be the bound for x and y. For this particular setup, we're going to use our dA to be dy dx, meaning x will integrate from a to b. So those are constants. So you can think of our bound for the x variable will go from a to b. And our bound for y, now it's going to go from bottom to top. So this will be functions of x. So you'll have uh, f of x to be the lower limit of the integration for y, and the upper limit will be the top function or the top curve, g of x. So you'll express y as a function of x. So when you set up the integral, you will have the integral, the inner integral will go from function to a function. So here you'll have f of x and g of x, so bottom and top. And the outer integral will be the a bound for x, so it'll go from a to b. And here you'll have your integrand, which is a surface f of x, y, and we're integrating respect to y first and then respect to x. So this will be your setup for the integral, which uh, is uh, integrated over the region r, and r has a top curve and a bottom curve. Now, if you take a look at the second scenario we have, we'll do something similar except that now our dA, it's not going to follow dy dx. Instead, for this particular region, your dA is gonna go from dx dy. Now here's why that is. So imagine putting a horizontal line right through the region like this. So you enter the region right here, that will be a function or a curve that will be defined in terms of y. And then as you enter the region and leave the region, you hit this curve that'll be a, a curve expressed in terms of y. So you express x as a function of y. So if you do such setup, then your limit of integration along the y will go from constant to a constant, but along the x, we're gonna go from right to left. So you'll have a lower limit, which will be the left curve, and the upper limit will be for the right curve. So x will go from a function to a function. So we'll go from f of, y to g of y. So you can think of this as your left, this is your right. And y will range from the two numbers we have c to d. So the range for y will go from c to d. So these are the bound for our integration. So we set up two integrals. We have uh, our limit of integration. The inner integral will have the functions. So you'll have f of y to g of y. So these are functions expressed in terms of y. And the outer layer of the integral will have from c to d. These are constant. And we're integrating some surface, f of x, y. We'll do dx first and dy. So that will be the setup if you have a region that looks like this right here. And you're bounded by two curves, one right here, one right here. And these are the two horizontal lines. You make a line horizontal. Um, horizontal line parallel to the x-axis, you integrate respect to x first, and then you integrate respect to y. This is called type two region. So forgot to mention that this will be type two region of integration. 
Now let's take a look at this example. So we're going to write an iterated integral. So a double integral for this particular region. So here's our uh, double integral. We need to define our region R and then we'll define DA, see what's convenient. So we, we must uh, decide which type this is. So our region R is right here, bounded by all of these curves. So R is going to be described as set of points in X, Y plane such that let's find the bounds. Now, I I think it's convenient either way because if you if you take a look at the region, if you try to draw a vertical line right in the middle of the region, you have a top and a bottom. So you're integrating all of this. So if you do that, this is okay. There's no trouble. Now, if you also draw a horizontal line like this in the region, you have a right and a left curve. So that's also convenient. Let x go from a constant to a constant. So from here, which is zero to two, and y will range from function to a function. So that this will be convenient, I think, but you can also set it up the other way. So we're gonna let x range from, uh, so x is gonna go from here to here. So that's the outer layer of the integral. We'll have zero to two and we'll let y range from the function to a function. So we'll have the horizontal line right here, one. So it will start at one, and then the tough function is right here, e to the x. So we'll range y from here to here. So that'll be our bound for integral. So dA, we're doing vertical. So that means we're going to do respect to y first and then respect to x. So our integral, it's going to be set up as y will go from one to e. So this is a function to a function e to the x of, uh, so we're not given a specific surface. So I will assume that is one. And then uh, dA would be dy dx. So our bound for y is one to e and for x will go from zero to two. So that will be our setup for this particular region. Here's another example. We're going to set up a double integral bounded by these curve. So let's uh, sketch the region. So let's suppose this is our x, y plane and y equals zero. So that will just be the x axis itself. Let's go ahead and draw that. So here's y equals zero. And then x equals zero, that will be the y axis right here. This is x equals zero. Then we got y equals one. Let's suppose y equals one is right here. This is y equals one. And y equals ln of x. So ln of x will start right here at one and it will pass through that. That's the x-intercept and it will make this curve. Okay. So the region that's bounded by all of these curve is this one right here. So this is our region of integration or the domain of integration. Now we have to decide uh, which is which method is convenient, type one or type two. So if you try to set up um, type one, you'll have to go from here to here and then from here to here, you'll have to split it up into two separate integrals, two separate double intervals. Now we're not, we're not going to do that, that's not convenient. So if you set up horizontal this way, you make a horizontal line like that, and then you have a right curve and a left curve, and the range for y will go from also from uh, zero all the way to that point. So that is actually convenient to do. Well, let's see what is that point. So let's figure it out. We want to know when well ln of x equals to one because that's when y is equal to one. So if you solve for it, you exponentiate both sides, you'll have when x is equal to e. Now that's probably not needed, but let's just have it there anyway. So let's set up a type two integral for this. So we're going to set up uh, following dA. Now y is gonna range from a number to a number. So we'll have the range or the bound for y to go from zero all the way to one. So y will range from uh, a number. So we'll have dx first and then dy. So our R is going to be described as set of points in R2 such that Y will range from zero to one. And now X, well, where is X is going to range? The X is going to range from X equals zero. So 
that will be this right here. And then also the, the right curve will be this right here, which is y equals ln of x. Now we wanna solve for x in terms of y. So we're going to exponentiate both sides. So we're going to have x is equal to e to the y. So x will range from zero all the way to e to the y. So there you have it. Those are the bound for our double integral. So we're gonna go ahead and now so I'll set up the double integral. Uh, our double integral, our x will range from zero to e to y. Y will range from zero to one. So always remember your outer integral is from constant to a constant. And um, our dA is gonna be dx dy. So that will be the setup for this iterated integral over this region.